guys follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Maruti 800. This is the SB308. This is the second generation model. This is actually the Type 1 which has been converted to the Type 2 and there were totally three types. Now this is from 1993 and this car comes courtesy of Suprasad to me. Straight away let's open the engine bay which is very easy because there's this lever there and you can see carbureted engine of course. Oh red colored horns I believe. And yeah, the engine bay seems kind of empty for which is, I mean, it's a very small engine bay. It says SB308 right there and 796 cc Maruti Udyog Limited India. No insulation here. Now I've just shut this. This model originally came with a lever here with which anybody could open the hood of the vehicle. So they actually changed the grill. The owner changed the grill to the Type 3 one, I guess. So that, that doesn't happen anymore. And obviously square lights, everything is halogen indicator is here. This is sort of the parking light plastic bumper of course now this car actually looks very classic because this is 29 years old yeah that's right length isn't much this is somewhere around 3.3 meters in length okay and the tire size happens to be 145 70 12 so very chin to minto tires like look at the size of the tires like really very small indicators placed here paint chipping happening of course it will happen this is an original mirror yes this is very much original Okay, there's no antenna because there's no audio system as such. Now, coming to the rear, the difference between this and the original model of the 800 which was launched was the fact that this one gets a proper tailgate, like you open it by pressing this button. That one had a glass one. I'm talking about the SS80. Boot is small. Okay, you've got speakers here. Did I just say there's no audio system? I think there is. Spare wheel is placed right there. Steel wheel, of course. And you can actually recline this in one piece to increase the boot carrying capacity, but does not fold flat. So I'm just going to put it back into place. And only one hinge is here in the interest of cost cutting. Or rather, one strut is there so that you know you don't have to spend much money in production. That's what Maruti thinks. Anyways, let's just shut this. This actually puts light on the number plate. Again, lights are very classic. Maruti Suzuki written right there. The exhaust is vibrating a bit. There you can see the tire size is actually quite small, and then underbody. Is in decent condition, I would say. Plastic bumper here, no rear wiper washer, of course, that was not needed. You have to put the key here to obviously open the fuel lid. And comfort levels aren't great. Rear passengers never had a head. There is this jali here, okay, so that people don't steal. And you've got windows on all the doors, which is amazing. No door pockets as such. Now, when I sit inside, I realize that legroom and knee room isn't much. Under thigh support is bad. Headroom is okay, not bad. There's a light placement here, which is Oh, aftermarket that works. Handle to hold on to. That is the dashboard of the vehicle, which looks quite nice. So they made changes to the dashboard with the Type 1, Type 2 and Type 3, of course. And it's a carbureted model, so it's kind of spluttering right now. <laughs> this is exposed. Slight hump here. Three people you talk about not being comfortable. Fifteen people used to sit in here in those days when people used to go for a family vacation. Not very safe and not a great idea, but that time people used to do all this. Anyways, let's do one thing. Let's get out. Seats are fabric and... They aren't bad, decently comfortable. Let me just shut this. Okay, this car definitely has an audio system. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, no pockets here on any of the doors. Seats are decently comfortable and all. Okay, and the pedals have worn out completely. This is actually to open the hood of the vehicle. This is to change the horn mode. Five dummy buttons right there. AC vents placed as well. Now, it is actually a very narrow car, which means that you're going to rub your shoulders with a co-passenger. Glove box is decent size. And there's a lot of spare parts right there. Audio system is aftermarket placed here. There's an ashtray here. I think this is the cigarette lighter, of course. And this is another dummy for maybe audio system, which is actually placed here. AC vents are there. No AC vents for the co-passenger. Doesn't deserve it. Okay, gear lever vibrating a bit. That is the handbrake of the vehicle. Steering is actually too big. It says Maruti here. These are actually the controls for the air conditioning. It's kind of unique and different. You can see the cluster. Well, it has a speedometer, a fuel meter, temperature meter. And telltale lights are placed here, which you can't see much. And this is obviously for the indicator. I've just shut that for a moment. These are the controls for the wipers. Let's use the spray. No, it does not have any water in it. And you have to use the wiper and the spray separately. So there, I've used that as well. No auto dimming stuff happening here. The usual bits, lights are still working, which is kind of nice. But it's very compact a car. It says Maruti here. So steering is never straight. Now, when you turn it around, then it says Maruti. Otherwise, you can't see that only. Okay, now this is the button which is very important. This is for choke. Listen to the horn. The horn is nice actually. Horn on both the sides and let me just change this. The other horn is not working. Okay, does this work in the center? 
no this doesn't work in the center at all let me turn off the car oh my god now there's the silence this is the key of the vehicle which is sort of a swift key so the key has been changed the earlier one was more metallic as such tweeters have been placed here but how is the driving experience let's start driving all right it's time to go let's turn on the car and okay rev it a bit yeah now it has rolled to life into first gear and off we go handbrake down so yeah i need to short shift because obviously this engine gets quite loud so the exhaust on this particular car has gone for a toss because of which it's become a bit loud in a good way so it becomes sporty firstly it's super easy to drive so let's quickly get into the history of the 800 oh my god i love this topic so in 1983 the 800 was launched in india with the government tying up with suzuki of japan so basically uh, this is a suzuki car underneath right so what they exactly did was they gave this an update very fast in 83 the ss80 was launched which was basically imported yes this car was actually imported initially the first generation model from japan and uh, earlier it was cvu then it became ckd and everything was assembled here by the government and i think we are going on the wrong route but never mind anyways steering has this uh, play in the center position this xuv is brake testing me zahur has gone mad because they have no brakes here so basically what happened was uh, the original 800 the ss80 was sold only for 3 years which was 83 to 86 and then they decided that it's time to update this car by locally making it in india and with the second generation alto's design they actually brought in or either front end of the second generation alto was put on this car and then they launched this the sb308 in 86 Now this car was on sale as it is till almost 97 there was a type 1 this is actually the type 1 because it's from 93 there was a type 2 which resolved that issue of stealing batteries because now people could not open the hood from the outside they had to do it from inside and uh, then in 97 the type 3 came which had the longest life of an 800 because it went all the way to 2014 so what was the real differentiating factor of the 800 in those times there was the ambassador there was the premier padmini designs from the 1950s rear wheel drive body on frame heavy fuel guzzlers not easy to drive the 800 changed all that monocoque chassis front wheel drive light weight and a fantastic 800 cc engine 796 cc to be precise three cylinders of course and it used to produce or rather this car produces 37 horsepower and 59 newton meters of torque now around 2000 now they came up with the bs3 model i think which had an upgrade yeah the bs3 model had a fantastic upgrade to four valves per cylinder taking it to 12 valves from six valves the result is i can't see what is on the left because obviously there's no mirror there now because of the doubling of the valves performance also increased dramatically so what they did is they slapped in a five speed gearbox and along with that power was increased from 37 to 45 and that car became a rocket that uh, five speed maruti 800 was the only 800 which used to or rather the only car which used to cross the speedometer's 140 km per hour limit yeah it says 140 km per hour here that 800 used to cross it and go beyond that such was the level of performance and by the way it was mpfi as well so fuel injected now the thing is that performance is good it feels peppy it's very light it's like 650 kg and then steering has no play there is body roll so suspension is on the softer side because of the small puny wheels night can't really handle bad bumps as such but then it's very easy to drive it's actually quite fun body roll is well contained and then this is a manual of course they also had an automatic by the way it was very restricted that three speed automatic which was basically for people with disabilities and uh, was sold in very limited numbers they never advertised it as such now this four speed gearbox is actually smooth shifting clutch is also on the lighter side but then the clutch is having a bit of a play and it's a little soggy so i think it's near the end of its life cycle the mileage from this car was what was the differentiating factor because very efficient a car can return up to 20 km per liter depending on your driving style there's no point driving this motor all the way till the top end but you can actually to that there's no tachometer so you really don't know what is happening but this car will comfortably hit the red line and become very vocal there as well so obviously japanese engine loves to red line too so that's a good thing so here we get into second uh, no 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 so you uh, need an open stretch of road to open it this is the usp of this car any small gully this car could go there suspension is gone so you can hear a little bit of the sound of the suspension you can hear a little bit of vibrations as well Yeah that's nice the horn is so loud right i i feel the horn is actually inside the car not outside the car So people love the 800 for easy maintenance low maintenance ease of driving efficiency then obviously uh, 
it did not have as many problems or rather it did not have any problems when compared to the other cars which were like the padmini as well as the ambassador in fact when the 800 was launched it became so popular it became so popular that waiting period stretched all the way till 4 years and by the time you got your car the price had already increased sometimes even doubled and people used to make a lot of money out of buying a maruti 800 such was the level of resale value and 800 in those times had more swag had more commanding presence than this car or that car yes an e class and an s class are nothing today compared to what the 800 was during those days that was the level of respect a maruti 800 used to give people absolutely insane oh my god look at those tires on the fortuner already the ride of this car is shit they made it even worse that's a legender with lot of unnecessary mods on it chrome wheels and what not but come on you don't need all that but never mind anyways i've got into third now this is a four speed gearbox which gets the job done honestly and the fuel tank capacity is very small i think it's 28 liters or something so yeah they've reduced weight as much as possible in whatever place is possible to make this car a very efficient and easy to drive one and here okay around the corners yeah you can hear some bits of the vibration the initial 30% does nothing when you apply the brakes 30% does nothing you have to go harder onto the brakes and then only there's a little bit scope of this car stopping so basically what they did was they came up with the type 1 in 86 then in 94 they came to the type 2 then the type 3 came in 97 and always had the same engine which happens to be this 800 cc engine which is peppy which is smooth and it becomes quite vocal as you push it hard do you have to take a right from here straight right right the right Okay and here time to go right Oh look at the steering centering today's maruti cars don't have a steering with centers but this one centers beautifully well take that latest maruti is unbelievable not the way the steering centers this car being 29 years old is actually fun to drive and has held on to itself very well but the ss80 which i drove a few months back which is like almost 40 years old now that drove even better trust me on it it did not feel like it's 40 years old that is the level of japanese quality which suzuki used to offer back in the day today's cars will not last 40 years trust me the cars have lost their charm the 800 hasn't still it is it is iconic it is the car having the second longest production run in india this is the most influential car in india like this changed the complete automobile industry in india that is how important this 800 is in fact the first one is obviously the ambassador in terms of the production run because it was sold for a longer duration of time the 800 was sold for approximately i think what 39 years old right no th not 39 35 or something so basically discontinued in 2014 that was also a nice gameplay so basically sales started dropping because they got the alto and they started pushing the alto there and then once that started happening maruti decided or rather suzuki decided enough of the 800 let's discontinue it and let's just move on but the car was still popular in smaller markets and then they stopped selling this car in 13 cities because they did not make it comply with bs4 emission norms and they then decided yeah it's fine enough is enough now we just need to move on now the thing is i might be getting confused between bs234 that doesn't matter because this car is quite old you can see the speedometer moves so optimistically now it dangles between 20 to 40 km per hour irrespective of what the increase in speed is it's dangling and this car is done i think what maybe 1 and 1/2 lakh kilometers or something doesn't feel its age as such So when they had to stop selling the car in metro cities because they were not upgrading it to meet the latest BS norms, barrel stage emission norms, they decided that uh, probably we should get the 800 bags because they were in two minds. The Nano was doing well. The Nano was just launched. Nano never did well actually. The Nano was just launched and then they thought, okay, we should actually keep the 800 and bring it back. But then Nano failed and then Maruti also changed its mind. And off we go. First gear is just 30. You know, top speed of this car actually happens to be 145 kilometers per hour, depending on the road. Of course, you can actually manage to hit that speed. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour in a good condition car will take approximately 14 seconds. And now I'm onto the brakes. Brakes are very weak. The tires are so small now; they don't support only. So yes, acceleration is fine. But some of the SS80 which I drove earlier was just more spritey, and obviously uh, yeah, the the engine felt unbreakable there. Not that this engine feels breakable, but yes, that just felt a little bit better. because of the small wheels now you can hear a bit and then insulation levels are just completely absent here however very important car for india really like change the complete automobile game this maruti 800 and still very enjoyable to drive it's vocal it's raw it is something which gives you the feel of driving and then you have to put in a lot of effort as well when driving and then 
yeah see people stop to let you go because of the respect part of things uh, not the tata ace though <laughs> and yeah let's go come on you know because so narrow na you can actually remove it from anywhere the problem is that if you're behind some car that person cannot see you in the mirror it's so cheap to me too so guys this is a quick video and i always say quick but it's not of the maruti 800 sb308 a car which was sold from 86 to 97 and i think until 2014 It's a lovely car, and I'm sure most of us Indians have had one in the family. And if not, probably you should tell me which is the car which was the first in your family. Because I had a SS80 brown coloured one, which my dad bought, and then sold it for a higher amount, and then he bought land with that money because obviously the resale value of this car is absolutely crazy. Come on, Maruti, bring back the 800. Bye bye. And actually, don't don't ruin it.